protecting your divine purpose. As a chosen one, you hold a unique and powerful purpose that aligns deeply with the divine calling. This calling isn't only about you. It's a commitment to fulfill something larger, something that requires dedication and focus beyond ordinary pursuits. When God calls you, he calls you to serve in ways that demand your full attention, often guiding you to step back from certain relationships to protect and nurture your mission. Distancing yourself from familiar surroundings isn't about isolation for its own sake. It's about safeguarding your purpose, creating an environment where your spirit can grow without interference, allowing you to follow God's direction with clarity and strength. The influence of those around you cannot be underestimated. Sometimes, the people closest to you, friends, even family, may not fully understand or respect your calling. Their words, doubts, or even well-meaning advice can introduce distractions that cloud your vision. While their intentions may not be harmful, their influence could derail you from the path God has set for you. By creating distance, you give your divine purpose the space it needs to develop, free from any external limitations. This separation allows you to prioritize what truly matters, grounding yourself in faith and focusing on what God has called you to do. Following a divine purpose also means stepping away from comforts and habits that may hold you back. When God calls you to distance yourself, he isn't asking you to give up on relationships entirely, but to recognize which connections may weaken your resolve or dilute your focus. This temporary solitude offers a chance for reflection and spiritual growth, aligning you more closely with God's purpose. It's a period of transformation where you can listen deeply to God's guidance, gaining strength to carry out your purpose without hesitation. In this space, away from distractions, you are better positioned to understand your calling and receive the strength needed to move forward. Separating yourself from others for the sake of your calling can feel daunting. It may even create moments of loneliness or lead to misunderstandings from those who may not see the bigger picture. But know that this journey is about honoring the divine work entrusted to you. As difficult as it might be to step back, God sees your sacrifice and strengthens you through it. He understands the weight of this choice and provides the courage to walk this path, knowing it's the path meant for you. As time passes, the importance of this distance will become clear. You will recognize the value of the solitude you embraced, seeing it as a necessary foundation for what's to come. Those who truly support your growth will understand your need for space, and in time, your journey will inspire others. By prioritizing your divine purpose, you not only protect it, but also show others the power and beauty of a life dedicated to fulfilling a higher calling. Trust in God's wisdom and know that each step, even when challenging, brings you closer to the destiny He has planned. This separation isn't an ending, but a beginning, a preparation for what lies ahead as you walk confidently in the direction He has set. Avoiding Jealousy and Envy in your journey as a chosen one, staying grounded and protected from jealousy and envy is essential. Often, people, even close friends or family, may unintentionally harbor feelings of jealousy, particularly when they witness your growth or the divine purpose unfolding in your life. This isn't always malicious, it's human nature to compare and sometimes feel left behind. But, as in the story of Joseph, the one with the divine vision is sometimes misunderstood by those closest. Joseph's brothers didn't understand his dreams and ultimately grew envious, resulting in actions that could have completely disrupted his destiny. It's a reminder of the dangers envy can bring when others don't align with your purpose. Distancing yourself doesn't imply that these people are bad or that they wish you hard. It simply means that in this season, their energy may not be conducive to your growth. Envy can sometimes manifest as subtle negativity, skepticism, or doubt, which can harm your vision, especially in its early stages when it's fragile and needs nurturing. God's purpose for you is significant, and protecting it requires surrounding yourself with people who believe in and encourage your journey, not those who might unintentionally plant seeds of doubt or fear. When you recognize that a relationship no longer supports your spiritual path, it's a cue to respectfully create space. By allowing this distance, you give God room to shield and protect your vision, as he did for Joseph when he later positioned him in Egypt. 
There, Joseph was able to fully develop his gifts and ultimately fulfill a purpose that extended beyond himself. Similarly, God's plans for you are likely to benefit others, and keeping them safe from negativity ensures you remain on track to impact others positively. Remember, envy is a powerful emotion, and it can lead even the most well-intentioned people to act in ways they may not realize. Your decision to create distance is about keeping your spirit clear of any potential distractions or negativity that might hinder your mission. This doesn't mean severing ties forever. Sometimes, the distance is temporary, allowing both parties to grow independently before reconnecting on healthier terms. By creating a space where your purpose is nurtured, you also set a standard for the kind of energy you're willing to allow around you. As you continue, Embrace those who genuinely celebrate your victories, support your vision, and challenge you to grow with love, not envy. This is part of honoring the divine calling on your life and maintaining clarity to fulfill it fully. A fresh start and new beginnings. When God calls you toward a divine purpose, he often asks you to step away from familiar surroundings, giving you the opportunity for a fresh start. In this new beginning, you are granted space to redefine who you are and embrace the potential that aligns with his vision. Like Abraham, who was asked to leave his homeland and everything familiar to follow God's command, this separation may initially feel uncomfortable. But God uses it as a means to transform and reshape you, preparing you for a greater purpose that might be impossible to fulfill while surrounded by the limitations of the past. A fresh start allows you to break free from old labels and past roles that may not serve your higher calling. When God distances you from people or places, it isn't punishment, rather, it's an invitation to grow beyond your current circumstances. Familiar people often see you in a limited light, bound by old expectations or roles they've known you to play. But stepping away from this environment can allow you to explore the depths of where you truly are, without interference or judgment. This newfound freedom is essential for your development, providing a blank slate upon which God can build his unique plan for you. While leaving behind what's familiar can bring a sense of loss or loneliness, it's essential to remember that this separation is part of God's divine orchestration. He's clearing away the noise and distractions, making space for new opportunities and experiences to shake you. As he leads you toward fresh beginnings, he's teaching you to rely solely on his guidance, which becomes your strength in moments of uncertainty. Over time, you'll find that this new path brings clarity, aligning you closer with your purpose and allowing you to see life from a broader perspective. A fresh start can also introduce you to people and experiences that will nurture your growth. As you step into new surroundings, you're more likely to encounter mentors, friends, and opportunities that resonate with your divine calling. God has a way of placing the right people along your path at the right time, those who understand, support, and push you toward fulfilling your purpose. These connections will play an invaluable role in your journey, helping you embrace the changes that come with this fresh start and guiding you through unfamiliar territory with wisdom and compassion. Embrace this fresh start with faith, knowing it's a step toward becoming the person God intended you to be. As you leave behind the old, you're opening yourself up to the transformation God has in store. This new beginning is a precious gift, allowing you to redefine what matters most and step confidently into a future that's aligned with your higher purpose. Trust that this season of unfamiliarity will soon feel like home, as it becomes a foundation upon which you can build a life centered on God's vision for you. Enhancing focus and minimizing distraction. When you're chosen for a divine purpose, maintaining focus becomes essential. The calling itself is often vast and overwhelming, requiring all your attention and energy. However, family and friends may not always understand the gravity of this mission. Sometimes, those closest to you inadvertently become sources of doubt or distraction, questioning the path you're on or doubting your abilities. While these sentiments might come from a place of care, they can still pull you off course, causing you to question or hesitate in fulfilling the role God has set for you. Separating from familiar voices isn't about rejecting those you care about, rather, it's about creating a clear space where you can listen closely to God's guidance. When you're surrounded by constant opinions, even well-intended ones, it's easy for your vision to become clouded. By stepping away, 
You are removing external influences that might cloud your purpose, allowing God's direction to resonate clearly in your heart. This solitude helps you tap into a deeper level of understanding, reinforcing your commitment to the path you've been called to follow. Consider the example of Jesus, who often left his hometown and the familiarity of his upbringing to carry out his mission. In his own community, people struggled to accept his role as the Messiah because they saw him simply as the carpenter's son. Their skepticism became a barrier, preventing them from receiving his message and his miracles. For Jesus to fulfill his mission, he had to distance himself from those who only saw him through the lens of his past. Similarly, you may find that distancing yourself from familiar people allows you to grow without the weight of their expectations. This separation also serves to cultivate an environment conducive to spiritual growth. When you're free from the noise of doubts and distractions, you can tune in fully to God's will. This focus sharpens your spiritual senses, making you more receptive to God's instructions and teachings. The quiet space created through distancing allows your spirit to gain strength and conviction, solidifying your commitment to your purpose even in the face of adversity. It's here, in this undisturbed atmosphere, that your relationship with God deepens and your purpose becomes clearer. Maintaining focus is not always easy. You may feel the temptation to reconnect with those who don't fully understand your mission, especially during moments of doubt. But it's essential to trust in the necessity of this separation. The path you're on is one only you can walk, and while others may not grasp its full scope, your dedication to it will eventually speak for itself. Staying focused without allowing distractions to creep in will not only strengthen your resolve, but also enable you to complete the mission God has set for you. In this focused state, your purpose flourishes. You'll find that when you fully commit, God provides the strength and clarity needed to persevere. Embrace this separation as a vital part of your journey, a time when you can dive deeply into your calling without the burden of doubt or external expectations. By protecting your focus, you're honoring the path God has chosen for you, ensuring that your mission can unfold exactly as he intended. Refinement and Transformation As a chosen one, you are called to a period of refinement, a time when God transforms you to fulfill your divine purpose. Like gold meeting fire to become pure, this period allows God to remove anything within you that may hold you back from your calling. It is often a time of isolation and challenge, but it's also when your deepest strengths are forged. This transformation isn't just about hardships, it's about reshaping your spirit, creating resilience, and strengthening your character to prepare you for the journey ahead. This process often involves letting go of old habits, relationships, or mindsets that no longer align with the person you are becoming. You may feel like you're losing parts of yourself, but each aspect you release makes room for growth, maturity, and a deeper connection to God's will. Think of this as a necessary shedding, allowing you to move forward unhindered by what no longer serves your purpose. In the Bible, many who were called by God went through a similar process of transformation. Moses, for instance, spent years in the desert before being called to lead his people. This time in the wilderness was essential. It taught him patience, courage, and faith, molding him into the leader he needed to become. By the time he was ready to face Pharaoh, he had gained the strength to carry out his mission with conviction and clarity. His time in the wilderness was his period of refinement, one that equipped him for the task God had set before him. Joseph is another example. Betrayed by his own brothers and sold into slavery, Joseph endured years of hardship and isolation. Yet, each trial strengthened his faith and prepared him to rise as a leader in Egypt. His journey, marked by struggle, was also marked by growth. Every challenge refined him into the man who would save countless lives during a time of famine. Joseph's hardships were not random. They were part of God's plan to transform him into a person of immense wisdom, resilience, and compassion. This period of refinement may be uncomfortable, but it serves a divine purpose. It pushes you beyond your comfort zone, compelling you to grow in ways you never imagined. When you embrace this season with an open heart, you begin to see how God is working within you, preparing you for something greater. It's a period that deepens your faith, strengthens your spirit, and makes you a vessel ready for God's work. As you undergo this transformation, remember that refinement is a form of consecration. 
you are being prepared for a life of purpose and alignment with God's plan. Trust in the process, for God is shaping you to stand strong, resilient, and prepared for your mission. While it may be challenging, this time of refinement is your path to becoming the person you're meant to be, someone who can stand firm in the divine calling and make an impact on the world. Embracing Necessary Sacrifice In the journey of a chosen one, sacrifice is not merely a choice, it's an essential part of answering God's call. Being selected for a divine purpose means that some familiar comforts and relationships may need to be set aside. This sacrifice can feel deeply personal and, at times, overwhelming, yet it's a test of your commitment and dedication to the path God has laid before you. Embracing this necessary sacrifice is part of growing into your purpose, shaping you into someone ready to prioritize God's calling above all else. The idea of sacrifice often comes with a sense of loss, and it's true that you may have to distance yourself from family, friends, or a lifestyle that no longer aligns with your spiritual path. Jesus emphasized this when he spoke of leaving behind familial ties to follow his mission. He taught that true discipleship may require a willingness to walk away from the things we hold dear, to give our lives over fully to the calling that's been placed upon us. This doesn't mean abandoning love or care for those around you, it means placing God's purpose above all else. Accepting this level of sacrifice can be challenging, especially when it involves people who have been part of your life for a long time. Family members, friends, or even close companions may not understand the decisions you make in response to your calling. They may question, doubt, or even oppose your path, creating tension between your purpose and personal relationships. Yet, these sacrifices, while difficult, allow you to honor the calling placed upon you, opening doors to greater spiritual growth and alignment. When God calls you to a specific purpose, He often requires that you clear space for His work in your life. Just as you might have to remove distractions to focus on a goal, certain relationships or comforts may need to be released to create room for divine guidance. This type of sacrifice is a declaration of faith, a way of showing God that you are fully committed and ready to prioritize his mission, even when it requires letting go. The life of the Apostle Paul is an inspiring example of this type of sacrifice. He abandoned his previous life to follow Jesus' teachings, enduring hardships, rejection, and even imprisonment. Yet, each sacrifice he made allowed him to fulfill a divine purpose that transformed the lives of countless people. Paul's journey shows that sacrifice is a step toward something greater, a chance to serve in ways that bring profound meaning and impact. As you embrace these sacrifices, you will discover that they are not truly losses, they are investments into a higher purpose. By trusting in God's plan, you open yourself to receive spiritual blessings that outweigh any temporary discomfort. Your willingness to sacrifice becomes a reflection of your dedication, an act of surrender that allows God to work more fully in and through you. In this journey, know that each sacrifice you make is a step closer to fulfilling your divine calling. Embrace these moments with faith, understanding that God sees your dedication and will reward your willingness to put His purpose above all else. Sacrifice, in this sense, is not about losing, it's about gaining the strength, clarity, and alignment needed to fulfill the extraordinary purpose that awaits you. Finding new support and divine assistance. As you walk in obedience, stepping away from influences that no longer support your divine mission, God often brings new individuals into your life, people who resonate with your purpose and share your vision. The journey of a chosen one is never meant to be solitary. Although some relationships may end, they make room for those who are aligned with your path, individuals who encourage and uplift you, and mentors who guide you in fulfilling your calling. Just as Moses had Aaron and Jesus had the disciples, God has prepared allies to walk alongside you. These supporters may arrive in unexpected ways, offering strength and wisdom precisely when you need it most. Such divine assistance provides reassurance that, although the path may seem lonely at times, you are never alone. God surrounds you with people who understand the sacrifices you're making, people who, through their own experiences and faith, know the value of a life dedicated to a higher calling. In embracing these new relationships, remember that God's provision is deliberate. Every individual he places along your path has a purpose in your journey. 
These divine appointments serve as reminders that God's hand is in every aspect of your life, guiding, supporting, and ensuring that you never walk this path without help. Embracing these relationships allows you to grow in strength, relying on the collective wisdom and faith of those who are placed in your life to fulfill God's purpose alongside you. Stepping forward in faith and purpose. Being chosen for a divine purpose comes with immense responsibility and, often, significant sacrifice. Each part of the journey, whether it's distancing from family, enduring moments of isolation, or navigating personal transformation, draws you closer to the person God created you to be. Every step, every sacrifice, and every moment of faith deepens your alignment with His vision, propelling you forward in ways that enrich your spirit and uplift those you're meant to impact. As you continue to walk this path, trust in the process. Embrace the separation, the challenges, and the new relationships with a grateful heart, knowing that each element is designed to refine and strengthen you. In your seasons of solitude, rely on God's guidance and the support of those He's placed in your life. You are never truly alone, for He accompanies you, orchestrating every detail and leading you toward fulfillment of the extraordinary purpose set before you. Let go of fear, embrace the peace that comes from trusting His plan, and walk boldly in your calling. God's purpose for you is unwavering, His support unending. Embrace the journey with faith, knowing that every sacrifice and every step is a testament to your commitment to live a life of purpose, aligned with the divine mission that only you can fulfill.